Hey everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're in the Gravel Cub, and this is the beautiful Bay Area. And this is the flight simulation version of sitting in somebody's living room, watching their vacation slideshow being projected onto the wall. We all know that that is very painful, and I am curious to see how painful this will be to do it virtually. I have, a, I have a feeling it's going to be equally as painful. Um, wa oh, that one's going to be hard. Wasaski? Sky? Wa uh, what's up, man? Thank you for following and welcome. Uh, we've got a couple of locals in here which are going to help with some, uh, with some locations. I can already see where the brewery is from here. Um, Lake Merritt, okay. Oh, this is great. This is awesome having having a local in here. Okay, so this is where our trip started. We we drove, first of all. Uh, we drove up. We thought about flying, but um, it just didn't work out. Crewman just recently started to fly in pilotage. I was actually very nervous at first, but I'm on to my Cat 3 now. Congratulations. That is... That is awesome, man. Well, um, welcome to the Pilot Edge. I don't know what, what do you ever want to call us, Cult of Pilot Edge. Um, that's awesome, man. That's very cool. So we we got a hotel on the um, Berkeley Marina. Pilot <laughs> Edge family, yeah. It is very amazing environment. Um, so yeah, we got this uh, very nice hotel, Double Tree Hotel on the marina, uh, which is right here, right in in front of us. So this little peninsula sticking out here is the um, I'm trying to figure out what view works best for doing this. I think interior for right Hello. now, Hi. but exterior does kind of work pretty nice. Uh, not Steve. What's happening? Um, Is this PC good enough? Uh, RX 460, 3.8, FX series, no. Yeah, I would say no. <laughs> Eight gigabytes RAM, yeah, I would say no, definitely, definitely not. Um, this is this is the worst. Oh, this is gonna give me nightmares. Uh, Great hotel, worst road ever. And that looks absolutely incredible. Oh my god, Julia. Look at, there's the worst road ever. So the ho the hotel is right off the wing there. Dude, this is super cool. Uh, again, this is as, as lame as watching somebody's slideshow projected on their wall. Um, that's the hotel right off the wing right there. And the marina is uh, flooded, but <laughs> this road that goes from the marina to wh like wherever you want to go is the most potholed, washboard, crappy road I've ever experienced. Um, yeah, Steve, that's gonna be that's gonna be a pretty a pretty rough one for sure. But yeah, I might run at low settings. Sync rate, sync rate. So let's see. There was a bunch of wild turkeys hanging out on this little stretch of road. I mean, I I had to drive four or five miles per hour. That's how bad it was. Yeah, five hundred. There's, the, there's the hotel. And our room was uh, facing facing the marina. There, that's super funny. Uh, this, I don't think this was the actual name of the road, but this turns into, oh, you can see, you can actually see the washboard gradient on it. That's hilarious. Oh man, it's so bad looking even from, even from here. You can see it's like, burn, 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 burn. Julia, oh, mother ever. Look at, you can actually. I mean, that's like basically what it felt like. Yeah, but you can, look at how crazy this looks. You can see the actual ridges on that road. 
That's so ridiculous. Yeah, I'll have something. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> this is Julia's favorite. So there's our there's our hotel. Very very pretty. Um, yeah, can you just put like a little bit of scotch and then um, the like, coconut water? I kind of like the the exterior view, but it had like in the morning it had a great view of of San Francisco. It was really nice. Um, so then on, like I this is really funny that <laughs> Julia Scotch forgot about that. Um, this really is ridiculous. Like watching somebody's uh, uh, slideshow. Um, we we drove up there to to meet with some people um all right steve have a good one man and join the discord as well if you need any help with uh with the specs uh so we, we went up there to meet julia's co-workers um do some other other things um other meetings and such but anyway uh more on that maybe later maybe next week uh, so we went wine tasting and met up with her uh, the vice president, the CEO, um, Cultivator. Thank you for, for linking that as well. Um, CFO, uh, a couple of coworkers. So it was like a pretty, pretty big group. Uh, cheers. Was that all the coconut water that was left? Yeah, I yeah, okay, that's fine. Um how good does this freaking scenery look? Don. I'm saying Don like is that right? D I'm just saying D I'm shorting it to D A H N. I'm just gonna say Don. Does that work? Feel free to correct me or give me like a pronunciation key or something. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, this is the freeway, wh whatever it is, five, 580, 880, I can't remember what freeway it is, um, <clears throat> going north to, um, Vallejo. We went the Vallejo route instead of the, um, the other route, I can't remember, like, Marin, whatever. Uh, 880, okay. Oh, 80? Yeah, just the main... Yeah, it goes to the bridges. Like, <laughs> I got a cousin in with them. That's funny. I think everybody has a cousin or... some somebody in the bay. This looks freaking real. Um... The winery is in Sonoma technically. It's not technically in Napa, but it's, you know, Napa, it would be considered Napa Valley. And it was a great winery. It was called winery name? Scribe. I liked a couple of their wines. I am I, like we like wine. We're, we're not wine snobs at all, but we like good wine. Julia worked in hospitality for like 15 years, and we've just kind of been exposed to a lot of different kinds of wines. I We've been to a lot of wineries up in Napa, Napa, Sonoma. Um, all of my favorite wines... And just like if I go to the store and I'm looking for a wine, I check the label and I check to see if it's in uh, Paso Robles. They have such a cool uh, wine culture and the climate there is better for wines. Uh, Napa has the reputation it does for a reason, but I really think that 
Paso has um, overall better wines. Uh, your cousin is a chemist for Kendall Jackson. That's crazy. Uh, what's up, Jeff? Yeah, I, I love it. It's a little bit off the beaten path. Uh, it's like it's not as popular as Napa, so it's not as expensive, and I just I just prefer I prefer it. Uh, what's up, Dilly? I think Napa has the wines that they have that are good are um, like the varietals are fewer. Like they've got fewer great varietals. I feel like Paso is a little bit more. Is that Diablo out there? I think that's not Diablo. Um, Dude, this this scenery is looking amazing right now. Um, yeah, so there's the um, what are they Richmond Bridge or whatever. So I'm trying, like I'm actually navigating <laughs> like how we drove there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like at in in Paso you can just order you can get whatever whatever they make there. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. Um, yeah, so now we're over over Vallejo, and we should be turning, taking a left here at uh, the little Discovery whatever. I'm too old to be slamming back shots. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like wine. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so I, I don't remember what I think it's like the tw like twelve or something, but we've got a little um, amusement park off to the left here, and we're gonna just hang the left. Oh, right on, Steve. Yeah, dude, hang around. Uh, Dilly, that was the very first thing I did. Is I got rid of the HUD. It's the worst. Um, yeah, it is. A, it's a Six Flags Discover Kingdom. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a Six Flags property, but I couldn't think of the, the actual name of it. It looks like a pretty legit spot. They had some cool rides. Discover Discovery Kingdom. Yeah, it's something Discovery Discover, but yeah, it is a Six Flags property. Uh, so we're following this road. This is so funny. We're just taking all of you along on our vacation. <laughs> So I, I promise it'll get a little bit more interesting once we get into Napa, Sonoma, and Napa proper. Um, it's it's very very pretty. So the the winery we went to was Scribe, and it's it's off the the main drag. Um, the actual winery is in the nice driveway that goes up through. Um, you know, it kind of looks like a plantation, which is cool. Um, but yeah, Napa Airport is right here. So it was super fun to be driving along whatever road this is doesn't matter um and seeing a couple of jets landing there was a uh, couple one or two 172s that were i think in uh on the pattern left left traffic for the little runway the little parallel guy is i think what was going on and then just you know a stream of jets coming in here um. Oh yeah, dude. You I, IFR man. I fly roads. That's all you got to do. It's a, an absolutely acceptable form of uh, navigation. So this is. I mean, w once you're here, you could say you're in Napa. You're actually not in Napa yet. You're still in Sonoma. Um. But yeah, this this is this is Napa, and I think the main valley. I think that is that the main Napa Valley right there. I'm gonna peek on the map. Yeah, yeah. So straight ahead. So that's downtown Napa. That's like downtown Napa, and this is Napa Valley, right there. That's the main valley. So we're gonna turn left here, and we're gonna go to Sonoma, and uh, a little. Um, a little kind of like sub area called Caneros and um, what hashtag should I go to to ask questions um, Steve 
it in the Discord, you can just kind of like we've got real world sim. So if you've got sim questions, you can just go in like sim general. And that'd, that'd be the best spot for that for sim related questions. Um, so this is like the Canaros region, like sub region next to Sonoma. And there's a lot of really good sparkling wine right here. And one of our favorite uh, wineries that is not in Paso is Domain Caneros. And there it is right there. That's crazy. It's not uh, photogametry or whatever, photogamory, um, but that is it right there. That's awesome. I don't know if you can, well, you can't see my mouse, but. Um, dude, Schwartzy, I was just going to message you tonight um dude I, I can't wait to hear all about it did it go everything went okay you were in study mode weren't you i didn't hear from you so i figured you must have been in like crazy study mode um yeah there's the main caneros there's canero do you see Um, and now I gotta find where this. I think it's on the other side of this hill here. It's not there. <laughs> it was locked in. That's awesome, dude. That is so cool. That's I figured that was the case, and I didn't want to bug you, but um, that's awesome, man. Welcome to the jet world. Welcome to the jet age. That is so cool, man. Okay, so straight down here. I think it should be. Oh man, that's so cool. Don, thank you so much for the uh, for the help. It doesn't. I don't really feel like I have to get the exact spot um, that's actually it right there yep there it is there's scribe that's so cool yep that's it right there sink rate. oh that's sink rate that's awesome from the sky uh, this was that, that really bad fire that happened in Napa stopped right on the ridge of that mountain. That's it right there. Okay. Oh, that that's so rad. Yeah, so that's you know, cool little driveway going up there. Um, that's that's awesome. Sink rate, sink rate. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, so yeah, there's. Look at how freaking crazy this looks, dude. And this isn't. And you know, these are all kind of default um, buildings, but just look how beautiful that is. This is this is what makes this simulator so incredible. Is that no matter where you go in the world. You get down, uh, obviously you could get too low and it starts to look really bad, but um, you get down to a certain distance and it just like, how is it this detailed all over the world? Like this is Napa Valley, this is Sonoma, California, this is a famous wineries and it's just like you're here, like you're here doing it. It's so crazy. Um, uh, now it's snowing and I'm freezing now. Time to get back to Arizona. But May 1st is still coming. Awesome. Awesome, Schwartz. Dude, I, I can't wait to see that thing. I can't wait to meet you. Um, we also have a trip to Phoenix that we're trying to plan in June when it's nice and toasty. Um, but, yeah, dude, that, that's awesome. Um, you get a proper feel for what a place looks like. Absolutely. And even... Having just been here, it's a different perspective of it that you can appreciate kind of the area that you were in. 
Um, so anyway, we, we kind of took some back roads uh, through Sonoma, and we are um, going to come up to Sears Point here. Because I have, this is a really funny story. Um, Cultivator, nice, man. Yeah, I, I we're going to probably try to make a three-day weekend out of it in June, so we'll, we'll see. But I want to do like a nice little loop around Phoenix or something. That'd be cool. Uh, we'll be flying into Glendale, is where we'll where we'll land. All right, so so we go wine tasting. I'm gonna. This is gonna be Bill, story time with Bill. We go wine tasting at Scribe, and the vice president, which is uh, Julia's boss, my friend. Uh, the vice president has to has to leave a little bit early. Um, we can take the vision jet jet to Sono Sedona, dude. That's freaking crazy. Julia and I were just talking about like she wants to go there so bad. That would be freaking amazing, Schwartzy. Holy crap! I that just. Thinking about that gives me goosebumps flying into Sedona. That place is incredible. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Um, okay, so we're we're at this winery, and the vice president has to go to his kid's baseball game to go coach his kid's baseball game. And the uh, CFO has to go home. He's got a, just a little baby. Um, here's Sears Point, by the way. Sonoma Raceway. Um, that's super cool. So we're, um, we thought, hey, let's go get something to eat and then we'll go get some, get some drinks and head over to the baseball game and like watch, um, watch the baseball game and like drink in the outfield. So the, we follow in our car, the CEO of Julia's company with his wife and another coworker in the, in the car um, in front of us. So like, we're, let's go, we're going to go to Chick-fil-A. We're going to get some sandwiches and then get some booze and like head to the baseball field out in, uh, out in Oakland. Yeah. Schwartzy dude, I've heard that it is the, the best airport, like the prettiest airport on the planet. As well, for, especially for GA, like the, the prettiest GA destination that would be super fun. Um, so we're following the CEO, and we, he said like some city. It's in wherever, and we're we're just we're you know sticking to him and following following him to Chick Fil A. Um, and as I'm telling the story, let me just jump in there as well, Cultivator and Schwartzy. Um, we should do something um, like have a little lunch or fly in on the Saturday that we're there, if we're there for, you know, Friday through Sunday, that would be cool. Cause I know there's a couple of other Phoenix people as well. Um, it would be fun to do a little meetup. Um, so we're, we're driving and we just go just driving and driving and driving to this Chick-fil-A and we're just like, you know, dude, where, where the hell are we going? Why are we driving like all the way to Marin County? For this Chick-fil-A, turns out it's like one of the few Chick-fil-A's in the Bay. Like it's it's the closest one to the city, and the city is not close, as you can maybe tell. Like we're not near the city, um, but this is where this is where the Chick-fil-A is. Julia. Can you pull up the picture of us eating in the Chick-fil-A parking lot? So here's, here is, here's the strip, the strip mall, little shopping center that we went to. There's a Target over here, and these are all default things so we're probably not going to get, um, yeah, those are all default. So the Chick-fil-A is just right over here, and then there is this parking lot right here it's next to train tracks it's right 
over my nose right Same grade. Same now. Grade. And so we were with the CEO of the company with Chick-fil-A. And he's like, there's a, we got a text from the other girl that was in the car that said, um, there's a park nearby that we can, that we'll eat the sandwiches at. I was like, oh, oh that sounds really nice. It was a park in lot. So that's me sitting next to the, the CEO having Chick-fil-A just flat out in a parking lot. <laughs> it's just like, this is so, this is such a weird, bizarre thing. So then we get, and that, that, that parking lot is right off my wing right there. It's that little, um, oh, I guess it's right here. Yeah. Right up the nose, Sink right rate. there. Sink rate. So the target is just right here. So we go to Target. We're searching around for for some booze to bring to um, our friend, you know, the VP's kids' game, baseball game, so we can drink in the outfield and cheer and be obnoxious and have a good time, right? And we get us we get this text that um, we got waved off. This his kid wasn't going to play. Kind of a you know a situation, not really, but you know, like. All right, so we're not going to do that. What are we going to do? Um, let's go back to uh, the CEO's place and hang out, have have some drinks, and, and have dinner. Um, he's got a gorgeous apartment in uh, in San Francisco. So we just drove to San Francisco and, <laughs> you know, just like drinking games and just hung out. It was super, super nice. Very cool people, um, and like the the longer the night went on, I was like, "Dude, we just ate Chick Fil A in a parking lot with your CEO." Like, how freaking? We, no matter no matter what happens with this job or the rest of this day or this trip or anything, that will always be <laughs> like a really random funny story. So this is the the drive from Sonoma, Napa to San Francisco, to the actual um, city, and we're probably at this altitude going to have um, some pop in uh, of the city out in the distance. And I'm already seeing the the Bay Bridge. Looks like yeah. So already seeing the Bay Bridge from here. This is Marin County. A uh, very good friend of mine uh, was from here. Um, and this is this is a beautiful area. Night, Dilly. Have a good one. But this is kind of a, a weird freeway, weird, weird highway. Uh, yeah, and I was just gonna say this, Schwartzy. This is a great road to drive, at least when there's no traffic. Um, it's a pretty wide freeway, but it's just like this really nice, windy highway. So you can haul ass. You know, we're doing 80, and it's just like this nice, you know, these nice sweeping uh, turns, corners. Now, you can look out in the distance. You can see kind of relative where we are. That's, that's San Francisco. There's the Bay Bridge, and there's where we started this adventure over there in Berkeley. Um, I think this is called the North Bay Bridge or something. I'm not sure. Someone can correct me on that one. Um, San Quentin. I'm not sure the name of that bridge, but um, we that's where we would have gone back to Oakland was on that bridge. But since we were not going back to Oakland for the baseball game, we just followed, uh, we just kept along this road. Whatever. I don't even know what this what freeway this is it may even be might even be 101 i'm not sure but closer we get to the bridge the prettier it's going to get it's obviously been a while i mean I, I i don't know um you know everyone has their their threshold with uh traveling in the last year ours was pretty low we didn't, like, n not, we're definitely more on the side of, like, 
you know, we're not at risk, so whatever. But it was really a function of, like, nothing's open. Like, why travel? Why do really anything, do much? Because um, San Rafael Bridge. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Rosie. Um, you know, we like we, we were kind of more on that, on that side of things. But we, we, we didn't do much traveling because everything's closed down. Um, so it was, this was really nice to be able to kind of for a reason like there we had a reason to do this so there was a little bit more motivation other than we just want to travel it was you know kind of a um, official stuff happening so there was more motivation than just vacation but god it was just it was so nice to be back in like traveling exploring you know we don't get to do a whole lot of it for various reasons but um this was a cool one and i i am a major sucker for the golden gate bridge um our like third date was at the golden gate bridge me and julia's uh steve good night thank you very much um for for following and hanging out tonight hopefully we we get you some answers and get you up and running man but uh have a great night so like i'm i'm like as soon as we start hitting these these hills Oh, I forgot I had that on, but yeah, there's Alcatraz five miles away. Um, we're we're climbing up this side of the mountain. I actually want to turn that off. That is really annoying. I t I was I was trying to look for something specific, and and that um, uh, it's under assistance. That's right. Navigation aids. Uh, PY off. There we go. Yeah, so our our second date. Uh, second or third date? Yeah, the third date. Third date. Our third date was Golden Gate Bridge, basically. And so, and I just love, I love the engineering of it. Like, I'm, I'm, I have such like a romantic nature about me. Um, you know, not like romance romantic necessarily but you know just romantic about you know my car like I love my little alpha because I just think of the little Italian guy hammering out the the fender um, and when I think about a an engineering project like the Golden Gate Bridge and something that's so iconic um, you know American engineering you know just like a beautiful piece of engineering like look at this coming down this road. Sink rate. Just Sink rate. looks gorgeous. And you you know you round this corner and then all of a sudden here's the Golden Gate freaking bridge. And I, I don't care if you're from here or if you've been over this uh, a million times. There is just like a uh, uh, I, I can't think of any other word than, than just a romance to it where it actually kind of feels smaller than you think it is but it, it's just such a iconic shape yeah I live yeah exactly just like Cole said I live here and I still get excited every time uh, I even see the Golden Gate Bridge like dude it's just there is it's just it's just beautiful it's a beautiful piece of art just civic art I, I don't know how to explain it uh, you just if you just have to see it it's the, this art deco style you have the the idea of connecting land masses in a um, in a way that it is kind of Italian like I mean I, I definitely like Italian stuff I mean you know a towel file or whatever um, it, it has like a it's functional but it's beautiful and it's not just beautiful because it's functional like it they made it pretty um and and to me that is i love that in in art or in in engineering like when something um you know like has has a purpose like they they make it um they, they they have to make it like they they're okay we're making a bridge but let's not just make a bridge 
let's make a bridge that's beautiful and has like style and has a co you know a color to it and has a, a personality and character to it and that's what i've always enjoyed about italian art and engineering and stuff is like yeah okay we're gonna make a car but we're gonna make it you know an expression of something and you know make it make it more than just a car and and san francisco is very much a, a city of uh architecture and art engineering kind of all together like it's got some very unique challenges geographically about it that that have been kind of engineered into the city you know it's a small piece of land so you've got this verticality and um you know the the obviously the water and uh, just just everything about it is kind of engineered to fit with the location but at the same time be pretty while doing it and it was actually um there's a lot of italians in italy and i don't know how much of an effect that has because it's not you know necessarily an italian style um architecturally but it is um it has that feel of like okay we're we're going to make a building we're going to build a building but it's going to be a pyramid <laughs> you know like stuff where doesn't necessarily make sense but it's like okay we're going to have this thing but we're going to make it look make it look good uh where i'm trying to find I can spot Lombard Street, which is another. Oh yeah, there's Lombard Street, right off the wing. Let's see if I. It, this is probably gonna look really crappy, but we can we can look. We can look at it. It is. It's a um, deceivingly small city. You know, it's it's not uh, sprawl out like. Um, like Los Angeles is the actual footprint of San Francisco proper is relatively small uh, square mileage. I think it's like seven miles across or something like that. Someone was telling me. Um, so, I mean, they, they pack it, they pack it in there pretty good. Uh, did that were No, that's not it. I feel like I just passed it. Doing a cool 40 knots over San Francisco. Uh, it doesn't really matter where it is. I'm sure somebody that knows where it is is yelling at me right now, though. Like, dude, it's right off your nose. Or... Yeah, because it's right up from the marina. Hyde Street. Hyde and Lombard. Uh, dude, that just looks awesome. Yeah, I think it's just being covered by some of these um, trees. But yeah, I want to. I want to say that that looks like it's that looks like it's Hyde Street. Ghirardelli out in the distance. I'm close, but yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's close. Hello. Hi. Hi. Dr. Harry Potter, welcome. Uh, they've got the new Salesforce tower in here, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah, after we hung out in the city, we had dinner. Uh, there's a Salesforce building, which is largely, largely empty. <laughs> uh, dude, DCS does look very good. DCS looks good, but yeah, I, I don't think you can... Uh, I mean, this is the entire world. And it looks like that. So... It is good. It is a good-looking sim, but... Awesome. Um, Shortsy, thank you so much for stopping in, and I look forward to... Uh, hearing all about the training and seeing the plane and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, 
to Sanity. Yeah, the new clouds do look really good. Uh, this is another example of, of engineering is the the Bay Bridge, the East Bay Bridge portion. Um, you know, when the other one fell down, they started construction on this guy. And there's a few documentaries on how they built this, and it's very, very cool. I mean, it's a absolutely gorge, another gorgeous piece of uh, engineering that I'm Man, that documentary was super cool. <laughs> it's all, dude, Shorty, it's all good, man. Um, but you can kind of see some of the old stuff. That uh, ortho. What's up, Max? Happy little Friday. All right, so we're gonna do the the last leg here. Well, I I, I take that back. Let's since we're so close to Alameda. Um, there's a little brewery that we went to. It's a very weird island. Uh, if you've never been to Alameda, it's very, very strange. I think Cole would probably, um, short seat. I think Cole would probably, um, back me up on this is like, there's very distinct segments of that island that are very weird. You've got the, the old airport, uh, which is where... Mythbusters um, hold back pressure. Hold, hold that back. Back pressure. Back pressure. <laughs> um, so this is where like uh, Mythbuster Mythbusters um, filmed a lot of their stuff here at this uh, defunct airfield. And then here, there's a bunch of hangars where, like, the Matrix was filmed. Uh, there's a lot of breweries, uh, manufacturing facilities, a bunch of cool stuff going on right here. Uh, the brewery is actually uh, not on that end hangar, but across the street from that hangar is where the brewery was. Um, super cool little location. That is definitely old scenery right there but uh yeah that is it that's that's crazy <laughs> that's really funny uh but yeah and then you've got residential and like some really nice houses um some probably lower income apartments it looked like but yeah you've got this um you know these these cool houses with docks uh, just on the bay there it's super cool so very, very interesting um, island right next to the uh, Oakland Airport as well. And then we got uh, downtown Oakland here. I downloaded the Apple headquarters add-on. Yeah, dude, Jeff, it's, it is awesome. I, I did a, uh, a little like review of that and it's super cool. Uh, okay, so the last thing that I wanted to give you a little tour of that we did was the uh, campus of Cal State Berkeley not Cal State Berkeley that's a diff that's a completely different school UC yeah no Cal State University of California at Berkeley right why am I why am I getting tripped up on that Cal State Berkeley no UC Berkeley yes okay I think I think I figured it out <laughs> Um, so Berkeley, whatever. Um, very interesting campus. Very pretty. I found this lookout spot. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, Jeff, you know what? When we, um, if you're talking about athletics, it's known as Cal. If you're talking about academics, it's known as Berkeley. It's very weird. It's weird how, like, when I think of Cal, I think of one thing. If I think of Berkeley, it's almost like a completely different school. It's very, very strange. Uh, but on the other side of this hill, actually, is where my uh, parents lived in, La in Lafayette. But I'm going to see if I can find this location. So the, the campus is pretty big. There are 33 
frats. There's a little weird fact for you, and there are fewer sororities, but it's like pretty close to 20. I, th I think altogether there's like 50 something uh, fraternities and sororities at Berkeley. It's freaking crazy. 33% of the student body is involved in the Greek system, which is totally insane. Uh, and all of those houses are all right here, right over my nose. Those are all the Greek houses. That whole little neighborhood is all Greek houses, and it's right next to the uh, to the stadium there. And then, um, let's see, what are some notable things? Yeah, like the actual campus is just kind of typical, typical campus, I guess. Um, buildings from the 60s and earlier Spanish style a little bit. And some cool grounds, lots of greenery. Uh, the So at the stadium, you can see the stadium. And then just to the east of that, you can see there's a little field right there. And that field has a hill next to it. And a bunch of people were just like sitting on the hill watching lacrosse, like a lacrosse game. It was really Sink cool. Rate. Sink rate. Oh, I love how I love how you toss into 40 degrees of flaps and it just comes to a grinding halt. So that's really cool. That looks very, very detailed. And that road takes you up to this lookout spot that we found that was freaking gorgeous. You can see the entire bay. Uh, so I'm going to try to find that guy. So there's botanical gardens. Yeah, Grizzly Peak Road, yep. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so that parking lot right there has the freaking best view. And let's see if I can land on that and if we can see if the view looks good. Like, dude, mega, mega makeout point. It's ridiculous. Just see the entire bay, entire bay area from Napa, not that far south, like probably almost to SFO, just kind of like the way that it wraps around. But yeah, just insane how cool that was. Let's see if we can land this thing. These trees might get in the way. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to slip it in. Oh, we're for sure going to crash this, but it's so worth it. And dead. Oh, no way. <gasps> yep. There it is. This was actually, this had a little seat right here, which was kind of funny, but that is the view. And it's even better because that tr those trees are not there. You could see that, I mean, that's pretty much it right there. And it was just like crystal clear and so awesome. The, the bridge, the downtown, everything, that is, that is the freaking view, man. Oh my God, that is so wild. I'm gonna see if I can um, if I can show a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. That is freaking nuts, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. Let me go to. Uh, it's my view. Desktop. Desktop. 
this will be worth it. Come on. Come on. Thank you for your patience. It might not do it. It's going to be super annoying. God dang it. Yeah, I think my my phone has uh started to show its age a little bit. Let's see if this will work. Nope, not doing it. Okay. She's hung up. It was really pretty. How about that? How about that? <laughs> this is going to just look like total garbage, but yeah. That's a rough view of what it looks like. I mean, you can I guess you can kind of tell to some degree, but uh it's amazing that you get and we we went back. We actually went back uh later that night and were there for sunset and it was just like freaking epic so cool all right that was i thought that was going to be much cooler uh showing you that picture but anyway that concludes the simulator slideshow on the wall uh that's awesome how's the plane doing hey, he's over here yeah so there's like a little dirt path here you can see Dirt path that goes to this other little lookout spot, which is actually even better because uh, it shows you a little bit further south. So you're able to see um, Oakland, Oakland Airport, uh, as well as Napa. It kind of pulls you a little bit away from the edges of these hills. Again, these trees are not that big; like there's nothing there. So this, you can see, you are. You've got Napa to the north, San Francisco dead ahead, and then Oakland to the south there. And it was, I mean, like this, this is what it looked like pulled in. You got Berkeley down there, Bay Bridge, Golden Gate, just, just insane. And to be able to do this on the sim is unbelievable too. It's so crazy. So crazy. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm this is awesome. This is always awesome to, to hang out with you guys. And uh, I appreciate all the support and all of the uh, follows and subscriptions and uh, Discord, joining the Discord. Uh, Toxic Steve, uh, Solus, thank you guys for, for joining the Discord. Welcome to the community. And um, everybody else, thank you again very much for watching. Let's see who's... 